Brought to you by Tedeschi Food Shops. Life is great New England. Only the good stuff. Showcasing New England's best entertainment, sports, and lifestyle. Life is great New England. With hosts Alice Cook, Chuck Nylasek, and John Mita Perel. Life is great New England. Only the good stuff. Well, it's about that time I'm getting close to my big stage performance here at Symphony Hall, and who better to give me the encouragement and the inspiration and the instruction than Keith Lockhart himself. Thank you, number one, for having me and trusting me with this tremendous uh, opportunity, but give me some type of advice. What do I need to do, sir? We can help you there, Chuck. Okay, this is the first thing you need to do. Have fun. Forget that there are 75 highly trained, skilled professional musicians on the stage with you. Oh, 150 if you count the chorus. Uh, or, and 2,000 people listening to your every word. Forget all that stuff. Have fun. Pretend you're reading it to your kids or your nieces and nephews, that it's an intimate sort of experience. And have fun with it and enjoy it. The only people who don't succeed are the people who don't have fun. Here's what you need to know, OK? This is the playbook. Four chimes at the beginning. Listen for four chimes. One, two, three, four. Based about four seconds apart. Then start to read. Twas the night before Christmas. Somewhere at a speed between an auctioneer and a funeral director. <laughs> and uh, there's a couple little notes in there about little things to wait for, but they're pretty small. If it says a three second pause, it's a real TV 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 go, and you, you're used to doing that. And did I mention have fun? Well, I think that just about sums it up. And. Um I mean, who was the worst one to do this? Am I going to be better than the worst? I mean, you don't have to give any names, but uh, have there been any disasters out there? I would never give names, especially in this most festive time of the year. But uh, let me say there have been there have been a couple of regrettable moments at times, uh, and you will not be one of them. They're usually people who have never spoken in public before, and uh, you know, you as a seasoned journalist will be right there among the greats. I'm sure of it. Well, I'll be certainly the least talented one on stage, but I'll be having the most fun. Thank you, Keith. And um, you know how to perform CPR if I should fall down and need some, you know, uh, medical attention. No, but we have people here who can. Okay. We'll get the team on right away. The team of doctors will be on you in a moment. Keith Lockhart, he's there for me, making sure I'll be okay. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure. It was the night before Christmas, and all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh in eight tiny rings. Like a 
He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed. <laughs> like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf. And I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of an eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but he went straight to his work and he filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk and laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod. Talk about having to do a quick interview. I have the busiest guy in all of planet Earth right now. It is Santa Claus, and you know now that I have you, you were amazing. Just getting off the stage here at the Symphony Hall, Chuck, amazing. You were terrific, and I'm moving you over to the nice list. Whoa, that is big news because I've been lobbying for that for a long time. That is Santa Claus putting me on the nice list. Write that down. Set your DVRs. Record that because if somehow I get on the wrong list Christmas morning. Um, at least that'll be good legal recourse for me to get what I need. Uh, look, I mean, life is great in New England, and it's guys like that. Santa Claus here at the Boston Pops. Man, my heart is filling with Christmas cheer. Rich.